Hello! It's Richard. It's Games Freezer. And it's a 10 minute taster for Ultimate Chicken Horse. Now this one is going to bring a bit of a smile to your face. Um, this one was sent to me just before Christmas. Um, and I've just got round to uh, downloading it and working out what the hell is going on. Um, hence why I fast forwarded my uh, pre-recorded 10 minute taster to get you into the action because it took me a lot of walking around and trying to work out what the hell was going on in order to work out what the hell was going on. <laughs> so right, so what's the basis of the game? Well, okay, you are basically tasked with building platform levels between the two of you so it's a multiplayer game unfortunately I've got no friends so in this example um, of what I'm showing you here it's me versus me so we're sharing a controller basically um, it's that kind of mode so each turn you get to place two items on the screen and they can range from platforms to traps to finger me jiggies, you know, like uh, some kind of machinery, um, you know, your normal kind of level building type of stuff. Um, you play as one of four uh, animal characters. Uh, there's a sheep, there's a horse, uh, there is a something else. <laughs> um, as a chicken, obviously, because here I am as a chicken as well. Um, and you choose your choose your character, um, and you go head to head with whoever you're playing with, which is pretty cool. You can play it online as well, um, but in this one I am doing a local multiplayer mode. And as you can see, I've added a few traps in into the uh, level. Um, as I am being tasked with getting across this massive gap here I've added this kind of platform with steps on it I've had that swinging trap there with a red wrecking ball on the end I've got a nice little uh, sliding power saw that goes across um, that platform and I've also got the um, automated ice hockey <laughs> machine that pelts ice hockey pucks at you as you go over so let's put some ice next to it because it's kind of it should have ice next to it shouldn't it let's face it um, so let's put a bit more ice on there lovely jubbly makes that a bit harder so as you could see on the previous time that I completed it, it said it was too easy um, so it wouldn't give me any points for completing so the, the kind of aim is to build up the difficulty of the level um, iteratively by adding in two items on each turn and it's not unlimited turns there are a set number of turns I can't remember how many there actually are because there's not a counter on the screen to sort of say um, to count down but it does tell you when there's three left I think towards the end when there's three left it will give you an indication and you uh, you kind of go from there um, like I say I was wandering around a lot at the start of this trying to work out what the hell is actually I was meant to do um, so it could really do with a tutorial I don't know if the tutorial is hidden in there but it could really do with a tutorial just to get you going you know just basic stuff really just to take you through the the, the actual what you're expected to do um, because this game is pretty cool and it deserves people to play it because I'm afraid people might bounce off of it because they're like what the hell's going on but I think the style will keep people interested I love this uh, kind of handmade style of all the uh, of the levels of the presentation at the front of the game and um, even wondering about the um, mode select screen at the start is uh, pretty cool and the fact you can go and sit down on a co-op couch um, if you want to play um, share the share the pad style 
So it's it's really good, really good game, really fun. Um, gets you thinking about level design as well, which is quite cool. I mean, you know, we've had Mario Maker, we've had a, um, a little Big Planet, you know, all those type of games previous. Um, but this takes a little, little different approach, more of a party play approach, uh, concentrating on the multiplayer aspect. Um, and basically being competitive. I know my um, compadre at, at Games Freezer, Mr. Brit, he will um, he would like this game. And I don't think he's got PS4 though, so he won't, he won't be able to get it. But I think you might be able to get this on Steam. I'll have to double check for him because I know he would be well into this kind of competitive play. He's a couch co-op enthusiast, although more couch co-op in terms of first person shooters rather than level building um, types of games um, but yeah it's something that you can sit down with friends family build levels become kind of very competitive with each other in order to build a tougher level than uh, than your uh, um, competitor has you know it can really sort of build up to some uh, frantic endings to the to the game as you take on the your opponent and try to add to the complex complexity of the last um, addition to the level so at the minute I've got this kind of fan going on I don't know why I just thought it might be quite cool to have the fan hit the uh, paper airplanes as you come across I thought it might give it a bit of an updraft but it kind of just kind of melts the not melts it makes it crumples the um, the paper airplane um, I thought it would give it an updraft and a boost maybe or something like that and then I'd have to time a jump off of it or something like that um, but no it doesn't do it that way which is kind of uh, different to way I, the way I thought it would be but again it's one of those things where you'd have to to learn um, how each item behaves and over time you'll sort of work out where to use things and how to use them um, obviously with each turn you get um, each character has a, a chance to place the uh, the items so it's not always the same person so you might out trump someone with a extra trap on somewhere where you think you can get your your competitor um, where you can get them caught up they might not be so good at precision jumping so maybe putting something on top of that oh there he goes on top of that swinging ball for, for um, someone who's going to use that all the time. Although to be fair, where else would you jump? Hmm, good question. Might be able to jump through that um, updraft, I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean then you've got a way up. Okay, if I put that trap there, how am I going to get across? You know. But you can move items that you've already put down. You can go back in and move them about if you thought, mm, don't like that where that is anymore. That's causing me problems as well as, well as my opponent. So, um, it yeah, it's something where you have to think about it, and I like that. I like that in this game. You, uh, it's frantic, but when it's your go to place a trap, you really got to think about it because it can really impact you. Oh, there's a arrow up the jacksy. Yowza. Um, so then as you go through and hopefully as you complete the level which you've seen I haven't actually completed the level that often <laughs> when I've taken the goes but as you complete the level you get points and it's the person with the most points at the end of all the goes that wins and you see where I've got the extra bit of orange there that shows that I had avoided a trap and got extra points for it so again the harder the level the more points you're going to get um, so it's in your own interest to build something that's hard but fair. I like the way you've got this countdown as well so that your um, turn isn't elongated and it doesn't turn into someone sitting there for ages with a ruler and a um, pencil trying to work out trajectories. You've got to kind of go with what you think um, and get that on the map before the timer runs out. You see that I added in a coin there to, to tempt people into jumping onto those lower... Oh, well done. Ah, oh, missed that. Oh, done well there. Can he make it? Ah, oh, barbed wire and all sorts. Should have jumped onto the um, ice, really. Although we would have seen a, a right slippery approach from there. 
There we go. So this is the preferred route up onto the wrecking ball. Use the wrecking ball to block the uh, arrows. Get the coin. Jump over this ball thrower. Ah, oh, bollocks. Straight on the power saw. Ah, chop chicken. Right, okay, what's going on now then? Okay, so sheep's turn. So sheep's going to have a look at the... What we're going to have a look at? So the bomb. I can't actually work out how this is meant to work. Because every time I've placed it like that, it kind of just blows up. So I don't know whether there's sort of particular rules for where you can put the bombs. Um, I will have to play more and find out more. Uh, yeah, let's put one of these somewhere. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah, obviously now I need to make that bit harder because it ain't hard enough, is it? Jeez. Right, okay. Onto me paper airplane. Up onto me wrecking ball. Straight down the bloody hole. Gold. Right, come on, chicken. Onto the wreck. Oh, for God's sake. I was scared by that little trap on the uh, step there. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, I've just noticed something I didn't notice before. Obviously, if you get the points total to the end to the win line before the end of the turns, then you win as well. Right, I'm with it now. I am with it. Takes me a while. But as I say, something like a tutorial would be perfect for this. Just to sort of lead you through that first go, and then you can start getting creative and doing all the sciencey stuff um, as you go on. I like this graph paper look as well. I think that's pretty cool. And you're uh, plotting your the demise of your opponent. So up on there. Got to avoid the black hole down there. Yes. Avoided this. Get over. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, here we go. Come on. I'm on it. Let's get over. Get yeah, block. Jump. Got there. Oh, in. Oh, yeah, ooh, into the black hole. Oh. No one has no points. Last turn. Here we go. Are you ready? Right, what am I going to put on here? Let's just use something I haven't used before. So it's the plant. It's probably some kind of plant of death. Bit cluttered over this size, isn't it? So, yeah, just put it down there. <laughs> See what happens. I've got to make it that far first, which I have rarely done so far. And then this kind of warp gate it probably gets rid of you or something. Yeah, that's it. Right. Okay. So we've got a black hole, a warp gate, um, a plant of doom, a sheep with a death wish. Come on, sheepy. You got the coin. Nice. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have jumped it. Although, how would I have made that jump, to be fair? I put that plant right in the wrong place, really. Come on, chicken. Last go. Last go. Oh. 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 <laughs> he got swarm to shit. Well, I'm the ultimate chicken. This is Richard. This is Games Freezer. 10 minute taster. Goodbye. www.gamesfreezer.eu <laughs>